Welcome to Lesson 8 in Unit 20, What Energy Does. Students will answer the question, how can we use simple machines to make it easier to do work? In the previous lesson, students discovered how different simple machines can be used to make work easier. In this lesson, students collect data on how simple machines reduce the amount of force needed to move an object. Students will use different simple machines to move a weight and draw a model of the forces acting on the weight. Students will come to understand that simple machines change the distance or direction or reduce the force needed to move objects. They will then conduct an investigation to determine what variables they can change on a ramp, known as an inclined plane, to decrease the amount of force needed to move an object up a ramp. In the engaged portion of this lesson, students will consider these question prompts. In the explore portion of this lesson, students will work with their group to investigate the effect of using different simple machines, lever, inclined plane, and wheels and axles, on the effort force required to lift or move an object both vertically and horizontally. Pass out the materials for the simple machines exploration and refer students to simple machines exploration sheet on student page 29. Explain to students that they will use a spring scale to measure effort force. Display the procedure for the exploration and demonstrate anything students may have difficulty with on their own. To measure effort force, the spring scale should be gently and steadily pulled along the ramp, parallel to the ramp, and pulled down until the ruler is parallel, parallel to the table. Keep the motion slow and constant so forces are balanced. Have students first record their prediction on student page 29. Then, have students collect data and draw a conclusion to show the effect of the method of moving a weight on the amount of effort force required. Guidance can be found in the teacher pages. In the explain portion of this lesson, students will refer back to the reading they did in lesson 6 that covers simple machines, force, and work. Discuss these question prompts with students. At this point, they should respond that they can use arrows, change the size of, it, of the arrow, change the direction of the arrow to show changes in force. Next, refer students to Modeling Simple Machines page on student page 30 and guide students as they develop models to show how simple machines affect the strength of the force and the direction of the force. Guidance can be found in the teacher pages. In the elaborate portion of this lesson, students will plan and conduct an investigation to determine how certain variables affect efficiency of simple machines. They will focus this investigation on the inclined plane. They will use student pages 31 through 33 to complete this investigation. As students develop their ideas, they should be able to determine that the constant variables are the weight and direction of force. The independent variable is the angle or steepness of the ramp. The dependent variable is the effort force measured in newtons. Have students do the experiment and record their data. Be sure to circulate and make sure they are using the equipment, such as the protractor and spring scale, correctly. After they have collected data, have them analyze the data and draw conclusions. You can ask them to make a graph in their science journals or use an online graphing site from the National Center for Educational Statistics. In the evaluate portion of this lesson, students should complete the questions on the Simple Machines student page. Refer to the answer key in the teacher pages when evaluating their responses. In the optional extend activity, students will complete an experiment to test different variables that addresses the concept question shown here. Students will conclude as you move the weight closer to the fulcrum, the effort force decreases. The further away the weight is from the fulcrum, the lower the effort force that is needed to be exerted on the other side of the fulcrum. Refer to the lesson plans for detailed information on this enrichment activity. Additionally, there is a math connection that allows students to gain a deeper understanding of the mathematics of force. The frictional force opposes the effort force which must be enough to overcome it, and the load force. Although more information is provided in the demo than is covered in this lesson, students can still experiment with different combinations of ramp angle, different loads, and effort force. By the end of this lesson, students will come to understand that simple machines change the distance and direction, 
or reduce the force needed to move objects. This lesson allows students to test and manipulate the variables of simple machines. They will use this knowledge as they build a machine to accomplish a task in Lesson 9.